Hello, I'm Dr. Bill Wagoner. Welcome to this week's Tuesday Tip. If you can't guess by my graying hair, I started dentistry well before social media existed. In those days, if you had a disgruntled parent, you might get an angry phone call, or at worst, that parent would tell their circle of friends about a bad experience. Obviously, we wanted to avoid that whenever possible, but now, with social media, disgruntled parents tell the world, or at least the World Wide Web, about their experience. Because we deal with young parents who are all pretty tech savvy, the web or the internet is where they go for a ton of their decision making information. You know, I recently read that 84% of people trust online reviews as much as a personal recommendation. So today, I'm going to be vulnerable and I'm going to share with you a dreaded one-star review that we received last month in one of our offices. This week, I'll share the review, but you're going to need to come back next week to hear my response and to share some do's and don'ts when responding to reviews. Please hear me clearly when I say that I am not even close to being an authority on writing a response to social media reviews. However, I suspect that most of you are not either. So let's try and give one another some grace if we're not perfect in our response. I'm going to start by giving you a brief background that led to the complaint from our office's point of view. We had a mom of a new patient call for an appointment. When she called, she said she wanted an appliance to replace four missing upper anterior teeth on her three-year-old. And she wanted to know if we did that and how much that that would cost. Because staff know that these are rarely covered by insurance, they told her an approximate cost for the fixed appliance. But they also told her that the first appointment would be to evaluate the child and do an exam to identify any other needs and to evaluate the child's behavior. She was told that no treatment would be done that day. When the mom and the child arrived, the child sat with her hands over her mouth, barely allowing a mirror exam without a lot of coaxing. My associate, who was working that day, began to explain to the mom the challenges of fitting bands and taking impressions on a child who wouldn't even allow a simple mirror exam. As a side note, I think mom was looking for my associate to whip out her magic wand, but mom was insistent that an attempt be made. So my associate said, we'll give it a try, but we weren't going to force it and it wouldn't be done today. So this is where things began to fall apart. Even though mom had been told that no treatment would be done the day of the evaluation, she acted like she'd never heard anything like that. Stop me if any of this sounds familiar. To my associate's credit, she didn't give in, but she did tell the mom that she could return later in the day when we had an opening. She again emphasized, we will try. Mom was not happy, but she decided to return a little later in the day. When she left, however, she did so without paying or staying to have the treatment plan reviewed with her. When she returned and the treatment plan was reviewed, she became upset because she thought the cost of the appliance included the evaluation which had been completed earlier, but again, nothing like this had ever been suggested to her. To make a long story short, no attempt was made uh, to fit the bands that day because the mom was upset. She was given a copy of her records and she was advised that she might need to find another office who would better meet her expectations. So now, let me read you the review. If I could write them no stars, I would. I was racially profiled and refused service for simply asking a question. The women here, including the dentist, have horrible customer service. The dentist has no patience for kids. She was very rude. Her staff is the worst. They wouldn't greet me. I was kicked out for asking why I wasn't informed about a price change before I was told to come back for a second appointment on the same day. When I asked the woman to explain, she told me if I didn't like it, I could go somewhere else. She snatched the payment information from me and told me to go. 
I hate that I wasted my entire day surrounded by such ugly individuals. Whether this is 100% true, 100% false, or somewhere in between, I guarantee none of us want to read something like this in Google. I regret that I don't have time this week to review my response and to discuss it, but I hope you'll tune in next week when I do tell you my response and talk about the responses in general to negative reviews. But before I go, I do want to briefly address her comment about being racially profiled. The dentist she was seeing was Asian American. The assistant that she saw was Hispanic and the checkout person was Caucasian. Our office's staff and clientele have been very diverse for decades. So respect and appropriate behavior have been a part of our culture for a long, long time. But I'll have more to say about that next week. Please join me then. Goodbye for now.